breathing. Now, obviously, Elizabeth, you're breathing because you're still alive and you talk to me. So you are breathing. <laughs> However, it's not connected physically, visually, and musically to what you do. As a cellist, imagine that instead of a cellist, you're a singer, because that's what you are. You're expressing your emotion through your voice, which is the cello. If you do this, <gasps> see you at the end. Now, you're inhaling and exhaling air through your nose, obviously. That's why you're alive. But your mouth, which is how you make your voice heard, is not activated at all. What I want you to experiment with is to inhale and exhale through the phrases and through your mouth. So you do this. Very simply. So when you exhale the air, let's just make it very generalized. Exhale before you start a phrase and I mean inhale and exhale it through the phrase, meaning you do this. subject that makes music will make you 100% connected physically to the music you're making and physically you will start to breathe with the music and you know what will happen even the old lady in the first row that actually falls asleep always like she would start snoring with you like and then it goes out and the next phrase and then you know like when people start moving with you you know that they are with you, they are convinced by your speech. They might not agree with you, but at this moment they are convinced. So I want to see if you are able to do that. Inhaling, meaning inhaling air and a circular motion in your bow, and exhaling through the phrase. <laughs> 